I can't believe we had a hundred people come through the door in the first ten minutes. Um, it was just, it's just amazing. I can't believe people have been saying it's like back in the 60s all over again. Really looking forward to having more events like this and just getting people in, meeting each other, get members to meet each other, associates to meet each other and the local community to come in, see the artworks and get to know how the gallery works and that they're, they're welcome to come in here and it's an exciting place to be. So many locals here, it's really, really encouraging. People are just talking and I wasn't sure how many people have come but you can tell everyone's just been chatting and getting excited about the event and yeah, here they are. And everyone feels welcome and they're chatting and yeah, it's really encouraging. Just get the community to work together again. I think it could be like a real centre in the community hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you tonight our secretary, John Piper. First of all, it's my privilege to welcome you all here tonight. We really just can't believe how many people have turned up and to thank you so much for supporting us this evening. We owe so many people a lot of thanks for all the work that's been done here tonight. I mean, those of you who have obviously come to the Premier before can see the amount of work that's been done here. Uh, the new studio gallery there has been um, refurbished. The whole of this gallery here has been refurbished. New kitchen area. Um, the gallery through there, that's all been redecorated and the lecture's been done. And really, we need to thank a number of people. And the first two I'd like to thank are Phoebe, Phoebe Wilde and Peter Reedy, who I'm sure you'll know. <laughs> so, but one thing we have to say, and it's unfortunately a posthumous thank you, and that is to Kathleen Watkins, Kathy, whose name has been synonymous with the Penwith for the last 46, 47 years. Uh, she has basically sort of taken on running this gallery on her own. She was often offered a, a help and assistance, which she always refused, and she really did it single-handedly. And it wasn't until the present committee took over the running of the gallery we'd realised just how much work she did and how much strain she must have been under keeping this sort of place going. Volunteers. I mean, volunteers. Unfortunately, Chris has the list of all the volunteers. We've had people who have come in who have Phoebe. What have they done here? Everything. They've hoovered. The they've, garden, they've cleaned things. The building the garden. works. They've helped managing just everything. So we are most out. grateful to the help of Lots. all the volunteers. Uh, John Jones. I've seen John here somewhere. Where are you, John? He's there. He's there. Who has done so much work as well. The maestro. Who's done a lot of work. I'm Oh, one thing I must mention is we are so pleased to have the exhibition of uh, Roy Walker's work here and we are so grateful to his wife and family who have allowed us to put on this show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honoured to have an internationally celebrated British artist who combines fine art, fashion, music and dance in the form of collages, performances and installation who is here in St Ives on the Tate Artist Programme for six months and has kindly agreed to open the show for us tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Linda Sterling. Thank you. Actually, something I'd like to say is that everybody has said that if I knew, had met Cathy, that I would have loved her and every single person has said that to me without fail. If I met Cathy, you know, it would have been love at first sight. And sadly, I did. I never met Kathy, but there was that sense of great charisma that sort of it's still in the air. And indeed, this gallery has that still has that beautiful, that impeccable art history. The pedigree of this gallery is it doesn't really get much better. So I'd like to read a quote from the Gulbenkian Foundation. And when they announced their grant for the creation of the first gallery, they referred to the Penworth Society as a nursery of the avant-garde in painting and sculpture. It has produced more artists of standing 
and more impact on the art world than any other society in the country. But I think tonight this incredible show of support from the community here hopefully will spare everyone off. It's been a hard, hard, hard labor, but tonight finally we reap the harvest. So I'd like to officially announce the reopening of the Kenwood Gallery.